Hello and welcome to the new video. I hope you take the time to watch the video and enjoy the video. This is a game I've been playing for the last few weeks and I'm really enjoying. And yeah, hopefully you can guys stick around and yeah, enjoy the video. Please remember if you do want to see more content like this and other stuff I film, please hit that subscribe button and remember to hit these notifications. And you can either hit all, personalize, or none, but I would recommend all. Hello and welcome to a new video game that we've been playing. Me and my friend Steve have, have, have been playing Valhelm quite a lot. This is probably one of my favorite games. Um, just in case Steve does come back online. Um, yeah, I think it's about £15.88 or £15.99 on Steam Store. But it is very good. I mean, it is it is extremely good actually. We've been we've been playing the hell out of it, to be honest. I'll give you a wee base tour, and you can get kind of get the feeling of this. Um, basically, you're kind of like a Viking. It's nighttime. I can tell. Uh, enough. Um, so basically, um, I did stream this a wee bit to see if I can, and it turns out I can. I'm growing my carrots here, so basically, this is my base. This isn't the original base that we hit. This is a new map that we've started. And it turns out if you start a new car game map, but you can you can keep all your same stuff. So that's why I've got bronze armor and stuff like that as well. So I am um, where Steve started afresh. Um so yeah, this is my this is not the initial base. Uh, I can take you down to where the initial base was. It's down here. Um but this is the kind of base I'm operating out of just now. So you go in, this is like the main hall. It's where uh, we'll start farming the right. This is my chopping block, which upgrades with the deer rack, which upgrades the workbench, so you can get your level four stuff here. And uh, this is the anvis, this thing, the anzi, whatever this is. This is the forge, so I can um, make bronze stuff and arrows, and basically the the way you fix things, you can fix things for free. So there's no once you have it, you basically just have to repair it once it's all durability out. Um, this is my cauldron and this is where I cook the meat. Um, and this is the bed obviously where I sleep. And if you want to sit by the fire you can. Uh, yeah. Um, this is my upstairs which is really serving no function just now except to house all these chests. And I've, I literally just moved them up there today because I'm in the process of making a lot of um, copper bars. So this is a smelter that you can get so you can keep, keep making these bars. I will need to go and find some more tin. And here, so yeah, um, around here, so that's the copper, that's the smithing station. I've got no actual use for this, this bit here. The walls are a wee bit wonky, but nothing can get in. Um, I might fix that, I might not. It's just a quick defense, rather. It's just a quick defense, really. Um, note that if you cover, you can't just have fires. You have to have fires outside, so you can't have fires inside. Um, and if I was to block that off, all the oxygen would get absorbed and the fires would go out. Um, yeah, I've got my flag up there, banner up there. Um, so that's, yeah, and my carrot fields, I did point them out. And that's my little cart that I... Cart, cart stuff around it. Um, yeah, I'm a little picnic bench. Yeah, this is me. Um, very happy in my base. I built this all myself. And I've got items that preventing me. Oh, I know what is preventing me because I've got a, I've got I've got bars on me. I've got bars. So the the signs here mean mean the they can get um. So we can go now. This will turn on. And we can go and see Steve's base. Because Steve works hard on his base and he loves building on this. I don't think Steve's on, so um, he won't mind us up around his base. Uh, we, have, we have no wood for his fire, so we can, unfortunately. Oh, he's got them inside. Nice. That's uh, not a bad idea, actually, to be honest. 
But yeah, again, see, he's he's left this open. Open. So I might steal some of his idea. I could steal all his copper. <laughs> um, and this is where Steve sleeps up here. So I mean, Steve's Steve's design is just he's just a better builder than I am. And even even the rain I'll put it out. So that's why he's put that, that there. So this is yeah, this is Steve's base. It's, it's so cool. Uh, we've got we've got the portal basically. So if we need to go and kill an elder, we need to team up for missions. We can, but we are very independent now. On the last server, we were living together and just getting stuff for each other. Where this time we we will help each other out, but we are also independent, independently living, living apart. But the port with the portal, it means that I don't have a ten-minute ship journey around to, to try and back him up if he needs it. Um. But yeah, that is the base. Um, so I'm not sure. I mean, what I could probably do is I could I I I could um, extend the base out this way. I guess. But then again, who knows what I'll do. Or I could move them actually. I, I mean, yeah, I could move these down, down here, and extend it. And this could be my smithing station because I did think about making zones. So that might be what I might do. Uh, probably won't build it on stream because that'll take me forever. Um, I might build it on stream, but I might. I, I'm not going to do it for the YouTube video. Um, so I can show you. This is my idea of getting lots of wood and I just transport myself to copper ores but obviously you can't transfer teleport copper back so you there's a there's either a, there's a secret way to do it or the proper way to do it the secret way and the most efficient way is you mine all the stuff and if you remember what I said at the start of the video you keep your stuff if you start a new game but not a new character obviously um so what you do is you'd mine all this copper here, log out, go into a new single player world, put your things in a chest, log out, go through the portal, log back in, blah blah blah, and then log out, get your stuff in the single player world, and then transfer it back. And yes, that is a very effective way of doing things, and I will show you in an upcoming video how easy it is. But also, portal, you can, you can get as many trees as you want, you can... You know, you could get, you could just send yourself to a very dense forest and chop down all the trees, come come this way, and then fire back through the portal, and then yet again you're sitting pretty, and here's where it explode. Um, you know, you can put your stuff in here. So that that's a very effective way to do things. Uh, we need to try and find the trader. Um, we're set at seven minutes. I'm going to show you the dock. I, I, I need to build a dock. But I'll show you what is going to be the dock. So no doubt we're... I don't know if Steve will build one and we'll just sit, we'll just meet up in the sea. Or he'll try and come through the portal. And vice versa. But I'm going to I'm gonna probably make start on building a dock soon. Um, just something to do to be honest. Um, oh dear. Dang in that shot. The deer do get spooked, so where did I kill that deer? <laughs> Can't have been that far. Have I picked it up already? Yeah, I have picked it up. Must have picked it up. Oh well. M uh, I wonder if I can hit this. I wonder if I can hit this one. No. Oh, it's a boar. Close. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Long range. Obviously, it's not as good as the first... First time hit. I got on the, the other thing. See that spook now? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to chase it. We're getting distracted and we're going off topic. Let's just go and get this boar. And boars will attack you, so just keep that in mind. Sorry, vegans. It's not a very... Well, it can be a very vegan-friendly game, actually, because you have raspberries and carrots and stuff that you can live off. You don't need to live off meat. So this is where I keep my ship. Um, so I'm planning on building, like, a dock around this area, uh, maybe to house three or four ships. Probably three, because there's Steve, Matthew, and myself play this, so we can all dock here and I'll probably do this do this anyway this is kind of my little basic tour of my setup in Valhelm just now if you do like what you see give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comments and I will get back to you with a new video soon new video is posted Thursday and I'm going to start double upload I'm going to start uploading hopefully every two two, two days a week and probably it's going to be Valhelm content so hope you enjoy it Anyway, thank you for taking time to watch, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.